Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Becky and if you're new here then welcome and thank you so much for clicking on today's video. In today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make this super easy and gorgeous Valentine's or Valentine's wreath. As you probably know, Valentine's Day can get super expensive, so crafts like this are just going to save you a bit of money and just add a bit of love to your home this Valentine's season. So, without further ado, grab yourself a drink and let's get on with the video. Okay, for this craft, you are going to want some different coloured card. So I have got some reds and pinks in various shades here. And as you can probably tell, I've started doing some heart drawings on them and I've started cutting them out. And I will get to that in a minute. But if you can just get some various pink and red card, you are then also going to want some cardboard. So if you have a delivery box, this is actually the ring light that I use to film. You're just gonna want a good size piece, kind of like a bit bigger than your head. We want it like a square this size basically, because um, that's gonna form the base of our wreath. You're also going to want, if you can, get some like little heart glitter stickers to add a bit of sparkle onto it. I picked these up from One Below. Um, and then you're also going to need some scissors and a glue gun and some paint. So I just have like this dark red pink paint for this craft. So we're just going to jump straight into it. What I'll start doing is cutting off this piece of cardboard. Ooh, stuck like that. And then you want to just go into now you can get a template and print it out from google or you can just try freestyling a heart generally if you find the middle you know that's where it's going to indent and then make sure the bottom point aligns with that top now don't worry about drawing lines because we're going to paint over this anyway and then just try and get the same angle going up on the other side. Cool, easy peasy. So you've got your rough heart drawing, so we're just going to cut that out. So I've just basically drawn another heart inside the big one and then now this is where if you don't have a boyfriend or you've been scorned this is probably a very therapeutic exercise because you're just going to jab the heart right in the middle basically with the scissors. Make sure your fingers aren't where you're jabbing. It's just a very therapeutic exercise in general um, because we just wanted to create a hole because we're just going to cut that middle heart insert out now. Now this one might be a bit trickier to do. Now this obviously looks really rough and ready at the moment, but that doesn't matter because we are just going to paint over it and then cover it, cover it in these heart cutouts. So what I'm gonna do is just get my paintbrush and my ready pink paint, and I'm just gonna really roughly paint over it just so we've got a nice base for us to put our paper hearts on. This is just acrylic paint that I'm using. It's just really cheap. You can get it in a lot of craft stores. And I'm just going over, as you can see, really roughly. As you can tell it's really rough it doesn't need to look really neat because it's just going to be a backdrop for us so i'm going to put that to one side to dry and then while that's drying i started doing some heart templates on this card so i literally folded some card like that 
And then on one side drew half a heart and then just cut around it. Um, I've done it in three different sizes. And then that's just a really easy way to draw your hearts out, get some templates. And then I just use those to stencil onto some more card. And we're just gonna cut that out now. Now the cutting out is probably gonna take the longest for this craft. But if you've got kids or you're doing it with friends, this can be just something really nice that you can do together. Or if you wanted to draw the stencils out because you do have kids, it's a great little craft for them to do. Or if you, they're too young to use scissors, you could cut them out and they could stencil them on the paper for you. and then I've just folded them in half as well. So I've actually just used the side of the island just to bend them and it just makes them a bit more symmetrical. And then what I'm gonna do is, this is still a bit wet but that's fine, I'm just going to kind of mock place some of the big hearts. And this is just gonna basically give me an idea of if I need to cut any more out and how it's gonna roughly look basically. So I'm just gonna place as many on as I can and I'm just gonna go in with some of the smaller ones as well to start filling some of the gaps and just start working out if I'm gonna need many more colours. Okay, so you can kind of see it coming together. I think I am gonna have to cut out a few more hearts, but in the meantime, I'm actually just gonna warm my glue gun up and I'm gonna start putting these ones on. Okay, and then what you're gonna wanna do, I'm just gonna have to pull it over here because my glue gun is not gonna reach. You, instead of gluing the whole of the heart, you're just gonna go down the fold. So I'm just gonna put my hot glue That was a lot of concentration. I'm just going down that middle center and then you can just go in and press it on to your base. So all these that I already have on, I'm gonna go in and pin them down. This is kind of what it is looking like. I'm quite happy with it. I mean, you can keep going. I'm just stopping now because I wanted to try and keep it as quick as possible to show you guys. But honestly, the more you add little hearts on, the more you fill it out, it's only gonna make it better. But the final touch, because I'm gonna leave mine there for today, is you're obviously gonna wanna hang your beautiful heart wreath. That was probably a bit too enthusiastic. You're gonna wanna hang it basically. So just going to cut off this ribbon it'd help if i actually had some scissors that were sharp and then i'm just going to fold it like that just so i've got the nice velvet part at the front and then i'm just going to try and find the center of my heart see where i want to hang it so I'm just gonna stick the two pieces of ribbon together to begin with. And then from that, we can kind of see where we might need to position it. So I'm gonna stick again with the glue gun, just a little bit on there. And then I'm just gonna press and hold it onto the back. Obviously be careful because you've got loads of braised hearts, so don't crush those. And then you've got, got it. Your beautiful little heart Valentine's wreath. So I've just hung it up there just to show you how it's gonna hang. I hope you've enjoyed this video, guys. It's been a really quick one. 
but it's been a really simple craft. All you needed was some stickers, card, ribbon, and a glue gun. And it's probably stuff that you've already got in your house if you're already into crafting, so it's probably not gonna cost you anything. And I have seen things like this on sale in the range, in Poundland, and they can be of quite a few pounds. And it's just expenses that you don't need to spend. Valentine's Day can easily get really expensive, so quick and easy wins like this are always gonna be great. If you've liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button down below. Comment the red look heart emoji and I'll catch you at the next one guys. Thanks. Bye